Hi guys, my name's Dave. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a squirrel feeder. It looks like this. If you want to see how I make it, I have a pickle jar and picket fence, a cedar picket fence board that you can buy at Home Depot. I think it's like two dollars and something. Okay, we need to make a change on the saw here. Loosen your knob up and adjust it to its own 15 degrees. Then tighten your knob back up. Should look like it right there. It's got a little bevel on it. If you're going to have that angle on here, leave it like it is because we need one more piece the same way. Be sure to put your saw back on zero. Okay. Let's measure down nine and a quarter on one side and eight inches on the other. Make you a line through there. We want to cut that line there so we can have, these will be the side pieces. Okay, take this piece and mark your straight line here. Don't Okay, your leftover piece, I'm gonna just flip it around here, just cut off on this end. But what we want is another 16 inch long piece. Okay, now we need to mark some holes here. And I've done made my marks, and what I've done is on the one with the dog ears cut out, measure down four inches three inch or three eighths of an inch over on this side and then we're going to measure down 10 inches and do the same thing down here three eighths from each end 10 inches down okay with with one of the pieces that's angled here grab one of the ones that you got the bevel on you know we got two of them uh, i cut one of them just a hair longer than the other one so find you the one that matches up best to the front. One is going to be the front and the other one is going to be the top. The top doesn't matter because it's going to be overhanging. So find the closest one to fit this and then um, we're going to lay it down here and make the marks for the hose on it. With that one, you know, with your bevel, Laying down like this right here, measure down from the top one inch. And we're gonna mark them the same way, it's three eighths of an inch over on each end. Then the next one down, down here, I wanna make it six and a half inches. You're gonna do the same thing for it. Once you've got those, then you can do your center punch on that. You might want to label these. We're going to put front. And this is the one that we're going to be cutting. A, we're going to be cutting a big hole in here too. I forgot about that. It's 
where you need your jar. What we're going to do. Okay, this same piece. Take your jar. Because these will vary. And you want to done, center it up. Leave yourself about about an inch and a quarter down the bottom to the lip of the jar. And make you a circle. Okay, that'll be where we'll cut the hole. And we'll cut it just a little bit bigger so it'll fit in there and everything. We'll set this one over to the side. Now the other piece with the bevel on it, you want to turn it just the opposite way we done this one. Because this one's going to be the roof of the house. So we need to put some screws up here. Okay, I've done marked and punched these. I'm going to show you. And we'll measure down from the top. It's going to be an inch and a quarter from the top. Three eighths over, just like the rest of them. And then five and a quarter. So we can set this one aside. We got this one ready to drip. Next, we got these two side pieces here. We need to mark us some holes here for the side hose so the squirrel can get in. Here I done, I just tucked my duct tape row and laid it down here and drew me a circle in it to make these holes right here. Um, got it about five eighths of an inch over and three and a quarter inches up from the bottom. Okay, I found the center of each one of these and took my punch and made me a punch hole in it. So let's take these in here to the drill press and I'll show you a good way to drill these out. Okay, this is what I got to cut the holes out with. I bought this at Harbor Freight. It's a circle hole color. Now, you need to use a drill press. You could probably do it with the drill, but I wouldn't recommend it. But uh, you adjust these out and everything to the size that you want. One thing about it's in millimeters, it's not in inches. So let me try to guess it here. Okay, I put a little backer board on the back. You gotta make sure your drip rests this hose lined up with this drill bit right here. Line your piece up. Okay, we got all the parts ready now. So let's start putting it together. Let's get the one with the big hoe for the jar. And uh, with and these sides here. Make sure your parts fits even down here and up here at the top. You know, this thing doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Okay, take your same drill bit that we drilled these holes. And since we got these clamped together now, all we want to do is... Drill a little bit in the I'm using these deck make screws. They're for, they're for decks and everything, but they're for outdoor use. They won't rust and everything. And they come with these little uh, star shaped bit that fits them and everything. And these, uh, these are 
inch and five eighths inch long. Okay, we're almost finished with the squirrel feeder here. We need to make a little piece to put under here and a little piece right here. That little leftover piece we had, we're gonna use it. And I'm gonna use a piece of sandpaper here as a, cause it's about the same round as the jar is. We'll measure down, measure down about three quarters of an inch here. Okay, let's cut this out right here. Okay, this is this is what your piece should look like. Let's see if it'll fit here. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. We need to screw this one down, but let's let's go ahead and make a little piece right here. Okay, this is what the little piece looks like. It's gonna go in right here. If you have to, you might have to cut this down just a little bit to get your jar in and out. You know, try it on uh, the three inch one. If that don't work, cut it down a half inch or so. so uh, let me drill some holes in here and we'll fasten these two pieces. Okay, I've got them fastened on there and everything. It should fit good. Oh yeah, jar come out, yep. All right. Okay. Now drill yourself a hole at the top here and one at the bottom. This is what we're going to fasten it to the tree with. Okay, now let's hang it up on the tree here. This spot here. And I'm using some more outdoor screws. They're two and a half inches long. I've got some sunflower seeds here. Okay guys, this is what it looks like when it's put up and everything. Uh, you know, the jar comes in and out real easy. Uh, you might have to vary down on the size of the pickle jars. There are differences in them. But I think it turned out great. Uh, you know, I paid a little bit over $2 for the board. This is just a regular fence board that you can buy at Home Depot Lowe's. Uh, this is uh, cedar. It's made for outdoors. and the yard I got my boy loves pickles so I didn't have to pay nothing for that other than now and for it to begin with but I mean didn't have to buy a jar but 
uh, for around five bucks or so, it's not bad for squirrel feed. Uh, I'll try to I'm gonna put the link in the bottom then here down for the for the plans for this and everything so that you can download and make your own. Thanks for watching guys.